بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از پروفیسر ڈاکٹر رضوان جمیل قریشی اینڈ وی آر اسٹارٹنگ لیکچر نمبر ٹوینٹی آف سسٹم انالیس اینڈ ڈیزائن کورس ان لیکچر نائنٹین آئی کور دا فزیکل ڈیزائن اینڈ وی ٹاک اباؤٹ دا ٹیکنیکس سی ایل آئی ایچ سی آئی ٹیکنیکس ٹو ڈیزائن دا ڈیٹا بیسز وی ٹاک اباؤٹ ہیارکیکل چارٹ in which we divide the main modules into sub-modules and we look the problem from top to down and we use modular approach to break down the system or decompose the system into manageable tasks which are the modules or modules. I miss one thing in the physical design and logical design. We have HCI techniques also, we use them to design the interfaces in terms of designing forms, in terms of designing reports. So that's the missing part from the design. And today's lecture is about the implementation phase. After the design, we implement the system. And in the implementation, coding or programming is the first task and there are techniques available to write the code. How many techniques are there to write code or to do programming? There are four techniques available. Top-down, modular and control structure under the structured programming, object-oriented programming, event-driven programming, and declarative programming. Structured, object-oriented, event-driven, and declarative. So there are four techniques available and as I just mentioned under the structured programming top-down modular and control structure approaches are there. Top-down and modular we covered in the design phase, the physical design when we draw hierarchical charts and in the implementation phase we use control structure approach. Control structure approach was introduced in 1960s by two scientists, Baham and Jacopani. And uh, according to the Baham and Jacopani, all the programs can be written using control structure approach. So control structure approach is further divided into three approaches, sequence, selection, and repetition. Repetition is also called iteration or loop structure. So what's the sequence programming? Sequence programming means we write the code in a particular order using structured programming tools like C is not structured, C is structured, C++, Kabul, Pascal, Fortran, they all are examples of structured programming using sequence. You have to follow a particular order to write code using structured programming languages. We also call them languages. For example, how many steps are there to write code using structured programming? Any idea, any guess? There are four steps. Declare your variables, variable declaration, input instructions, processing instructions, and output instructions. Variable declaration, get the input from the user, process them, and display the output. You cannot change this order, that output instructions at the number one, variable declaration at the last, processing instruction at the number two, input instruction at the number three, no. Program will not work. You have to follow the order. Declare variables, input instructions, write processing instructions, write output instructions. Selection. Selection means you have to select between or among different things. For example, if average greater than 95, A plus, greater than 90, A, greater than 85, 
B plus B, C plus C, D plus D, and less than 60 fail. So if L structure is there, or we have select case, use switch case structure. Select case in the Visual Studio environment and switch case in the C, C++ environment. Then repetition or iteration. If you want to repeat the same instruction again and again, you have to use loop structure or iteration structure, do while, while when, do until, for next. That is the structure programming. I am not going in detail because there are other courses. 250 system analysis and design is not for that purpose. The next technique is object-oriented programming. In object-oriented programming is a way of writing programs using objects. So what's an object? Object is a combination of data and methods into a single entity that is called object and it is uniquely identifiable like student, employee, customer, person, vehicle, everything of this world can be characterized as an object. And class is a collection of objects. The data is also called attributes. Data is also called states, properties, and methods are also called functions, procedures, behaviors. There are alternative names. So when we have a an object-oriented program, we declare data inside a class and we declare methods. And then we have the main method and we create the object, class name, space, object name like obj1 is equal to new class name then you can call the methods that you declared inside the class obj1.set obj1.compute obj1.show that is about the object oriented programming java is an example of object oriented programming c++ is structured c++ is also object oriented php python Ruby, VueStudio.net, VB.net, C Sharp, ASP.net, F Sharp. These all are a Kotlin. These all are examples of object programming languages. Then third technique is called event driven or object based. In the event driven programming, program waits for the user to perform an action or trigger an action or fire an event. So when program waits for the user, that means user will dictate the order of execution, not the program, unlike the structure programming. Like you are using browser, browser waits for you to perform an action. It is also called action listening state or event listening state or event monitoring state. So you have click event in Visual Studio environment, you have action listener in Java, item listener in Java, implements action listener, implements item listener. So that's the event driven programming. So we have object based mean the vendor define the objects and that are available in the toolbox or in the reference library. So VL Basic, ASP, Delphi, Power Builder, they all are even driven programming languages. And now the new languages, they are object based as well as object entered. In the object based, programmer cannot create objects. But in object entered, vendor defined objects are available and programmer can also define its own objects. That is the event driven. Then the fourth technique available is called declarative programming. Structure programming is also called procedural programming or imperative programming. 
डिक्लेटिव प्रोग्रामिंग प्रोग्रामर डिक्लेयर फैक्ट्स एंड रूल्स अबाउट एन ऑब्जेक्ट और सब्जेक्ट टू अचीव ए गोल और इन्फ्रेंस आ रिजल्ट इन्फ्रेंस कंक्लूजन वी ऑल्सो कॉल इट गोल ड्रिवन अप्रोच लाइक सर्चिंग प्रोग्राम विद इन ए बिल्डिंग यू वॉन्ट टू सर्च सम रूम सो यू प्रोवाइड ऑल फैक्ट्स रूम किचन रूम ऑफिस रूम हॉल रूम पेंट्रीन एंड देन द फैक्ट रूल्स आर देयर टू मैनुपलेट द फैक्ट्स वेयर रूम एंड देन यू प्रोवाइड रूम किचन एंड सो ऑन आई वेंट टू दुबई मॉल इन द दुबई मॉल वॉन्स यू एंटर इन साइड द मॉल देर इज ए स्क्रीन एंड सर्चिंग प्रोग्राम इज अवेलेबल यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड अ शॉप सो इट विल गाइड यू to where to where is the shop is located so that is declarative or even or declarative programming and you have prolog you have lisp are examples of declarative programming prolog stands for programming logic you have swi prolog turbo prolog visual prolog these are used to develop expert systems AI based systems declarative programming is also called AI programming artificial intelligence to develop programs that behaves like human that behaves like expert like specialist so that's the today's lecture thank you very much jazakallah khair may allah bless you assalam alaikum